Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Fly Fishing Adventures UK and today I'm going to show you how to really easily tie one of my most effective buzzers that I've been using in my recent videos to great success catching many many fish and it's kind of my go-to pattern between March and say the end of May. So in the vise we have one of these, a Fastener F800 Lava and Barbless Hook it's actually a size 16 even though the pack says a 14. On top of that then we're going to start by using the Viva 16O and that's in a, a dark olive colour and I think that's the most effective pattern as that water starts to warm up. So we're going to go ahead and tie in the thread just behind the eye. I'll notice that I'm just pinching the thread between my fingers, holding it away from the hook and then winding up against that thread and that pushes that first base layer of thread one wrap up against the next, meaning I'm not leaving any exposed bell hook and going quite a long way then around the bend wherever I want the body to finish and I can then go ahead and trim that away and I'm then going to just work my way back up the hook and just building up layers of thread and I'll just keep doing that until I've got the thickness of fly that I want now up here in the north buzzers don't go that big if I was fishing Rutland or Graffin I'd be tying much bigger flies and I'd be making them much thicker. But up here they're pretty small, like even this as a 16 is going to be larger than pretty much any of the naturals, especially now the water's a bit warmer. So I could scale down even to an 18 or a 20, it might be effective. I'm then going to tie in a hotspot and I'm going to use this Glow Bright number 5, my favourite colour for hotspots. Prefer the 5 to the 4, and so this is a, a hot orange compared to number 4, which is a red. So I've just caught that in bringing it around the back of the hook and then I can tie that in with a couple of extra turns. Now take the thread so it's in line with the point and that's where I'm going to start my hot spot. I'm then going to spin my floss to make it tighter and easier to work with and I'm just going to do one, two, three, four turns of that floss and then use the thread to catch it in. So come the other side of the floss catch in, making sure that thread stays tight. A couple of turns to lock it in place and then I can go ahead and trim away the excess of the floss. Okay, cheeks then. Usually on buzzers you'll see colourful cheeks. I actually prefer in this case to use a little bit of flash. I'm going to use this Mirage Opal Tinsel in small and I prefer this at the moment to the pearl. I think it gives a bit more of a block effect, a bit easier to see. Pearl's great and I do use pearl. I do also use coloured cheeks but for this pattern the opal seems to be the most effective and I have a lot of confidence in this pattern at the moment. So I've just caught two strands of that in on the cheeks and done that kind of in line with the way I want them to sit forward and then caught those in with a thread. And then the same thing, we're now working backwards and forwards through the thorax of the fly and getting it to a thickness that is greater than that of the body. So just keep going, keep going until I'm happy with the size. Now natural buzzers you'll know have a slight bulge at the top. It's not huge compared to the rest of the body so we don't need it to be much different but we do want it to be a little bit thicker pretty much like that. Maybe a, a tad more That'll probably do us. Now fold the cheeks forward so you've got them where you want them. And then catch in with the thread. And what you can do now while you've got that thread in is just check them in the right place. I'm happy with that one. And I'm not as happy with this one. So I can now, I've got hold of the right piece, adjust that while there's only one turn of thread. Once I'm happy, three turns to make sure that they're locked in place. And then I'm just going to take them off as close as physically possible to the body. Now, before I do anything, to, before it all unravels, I'm just going to throw in a little half hitch. So I get my two fingers, bring the thread over the front of them, put that where it is. I can slide one out and then I can use my finger to hold that thread in place where I want it. And pull down. So I know my fly is not going to come unraveled. And I'm then just going to do a series of those. Two, three, 
four, five, just behind the eye to finish the fly off. And I like to do that over a whip finish because I feel like I have more control over where that's been. And that's it, really. That's it, really dead and simple. The last thing you need to do is finish it off, so I've just got some UV resin. Just put a little blob of that on the fly. Get my dubbing needle and I'm just going to spread it out all over the fly. Use the rotation function on my vise. The beauty of having the UV resin is I can vary the thickness on the fly. So if I want a really heavy fly to sink faster, I could add more resin. If I want a light fly, I can add less. Now get that nice and even all the way around to get my UV torch. And that's it. Done. Really simple, really effective. I hope you can use that to some use on your own local waters. I hope it catches a few fish for you and make sure that you like, subscribe and comment on the video to help the channel grow and we'll get more of these helpful little fishing tips over to you.